Okay. Let's get this brack back home now. To the neighbors. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Hey, can we go in there? I think I remember the path. <sighs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. what Daniel's doing over there. Are you in the treehouse? I go in the treehouse. Wonder what went on between this kid and his dad yesterday. It was pretty weird. Ah, uh, he was just drunk. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill him. <gasps> Daniel! What's going on here? <gasps> Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy. But I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal! Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf! <laughs> What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like... El Diez Blo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name. Yeah, but, that's the idea. Okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. You saw uh, me sorry, yesterday. Man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. Whatever. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh. Score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. 
These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Hmm. Dino is a hero. There, the hero. What? Where do this? Look closely. R is a hero. Okay, maybe you not. Sure. What? Oh. Interesting. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's okay. the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also no, Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kind of took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroid, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't mm. want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. <laughs> well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Well, the flying fortress needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, Chris, it's none of my business, but did something happen between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... he has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Well... I can understand that. But I hope you know... you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. I feel like this is probably the end of the episode. You need my jacket? I, I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. 
You're you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. We're gonna get recognized, aren't we? Something's gonna happen. It's been uh, a little boring so far. Something interesting has to happen. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But. Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. Then but why Chris you keep thinks doing he it? can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Uh, what? Check the secret. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes. I know the rules, but I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad, or grandma, or a cop, or... Okay, okay, I get it, but I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right, I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Oh, what's that should be now? They look like giant cartoons. Creepy. Okay, what are we doing? Find annual Christmas present. Mm, I bet Dad didn't know about this. Hairspray. What? Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. You no. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be around. Quiet morning as usual. This is so different from Seattle. Sure. Anything about us? I don't know if I can no. get used to it. So don't worry. No. Those cards. Gifts. Here we go. Ah, bear. Oh, we have nine dollars. Okay, we're getting the cheapest one. No oh, man. Oh, I don't get to pick which, which one. <laughs> Reminds me of that lovely rocket Daniel made for me once.
What? I don't understand. Put... Going look or put back. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Um, hotel. We're just passing through, so, uh, at a motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Yeah, I want to We want only to... sell handmade local Cheap products. Ones. Come take a look. Why can I only look or put back? What is this crap? That's way too expensive. <laughs> Patriotic bears and deck chairs. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Oh, I have to, okay. That's you won't find better deals stupid. in Beaver Creek. Okay. Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Sweatshop labor? Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. Um, nope. Can't I'm afford good. anything Have else. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. You just stole it. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. Come take a look. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Cider? I miss Dad's Christmas at all. Okay. Find trails to leave the market. Whoa. The guy who painted that he must have been seriously high. <laughs> Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something city for my boy. little brother. You thought your brother something out here. Out oh, here. Poor kid. Sorry, I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No way. No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives trains. us time to rest. Damn. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but... We've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, 
Your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, <laughs> what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Yeah. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Mm, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. <laughs> We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Better not stay away from that dude. We should kick his ass, Sean. Rank him. No. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. Nope, don't draw any attention. They're pretty. Okay, where's the dude at? Oh, he's uh flying in the air. That's uh Okay. Um and you're just standing there. You're broke. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. Okay. Hop in. Oh, they're invisible. That's that's nice. Are you having too much fun back there? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. It's a self-driving car. Uh That's funny. Should have pranked the dude. 
they still no oh they're back not invisible anymore like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah. The smelly one? That girl. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! Anyway, got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Claire and Steven seemed a bit worried about you guys. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seemed to care about Chris, but I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model, but I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad over <laughs> No way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Kinda run him over. <laughs> 